Well, hey, you guys, this is Scott and Ariane with this Nomadic Idea. Today, we are trying to change a RV a door lock. Now, this is an Airstream. It's a 76 Airstream. So your conventional RV door locks aren't going to work, but I will show you exactly how to do it and why this project has taken me a half a day to do. So as you can see, these uh, this lock is pretty old, but one of the things that why it's so hard to replace is because of the stem of the lock is so long. They just don't make these things anymore. And you certainly can't buy these on Amazon. Uh, you got to scrunch around at a vintage trailer parts store. But we're going to try to do it. And I think I know why it's taken so long. I'm also going to re-insulate the door right here because it had the old fiberglass insulation and it's pretty thin so i'm going to give this a little bit of a much better insulating factor because of course it is right next to some water lines and we're supposed to get a deep freeze this week and i want to protect those guys so the original lock you can see it comes all the way up and then this is just the old lock right here that you put the key in and then of course the mechanism right is right here well normally this stem after you take the end bolt off you unscrew another bolt down here but i had the panel on so i had to unrivet the whole panel and uh get to the lock jam because there's a another hex nut down here that you have to and it was all covered in caulk that's why it takes so long just to do a simple RV <laughs> RV fix on an old 40 year old trailer. So before we can replace the lock, and this is what the tricky part is, and that's why I had to take this door panel off to get this off. But once it's off, it's gonna pop. And there we go. That is the old lock. So once you put your new lock on, then it's just a matter of putting your stem in and the screw. Now, here's the part that is crucial in putting in the new RV lock. It's this little guy right here. Now, this little guy goes underneath the stem. The screw then holds the lock where you actually put the key in and turn it, that holds the lock in place. But this guy is gonna dictate which way the lock is gonna turn because this guy turns with the lock. So let me show you. So you can see, turning the key, that locks up and that holds the door. Now, I bought this at Home Depot, but you have to get the largest or the longest size they make if you're renovating an old rv otherwise you can buy a bunch of locks on amazon you can buy a bunch of rv locks i think um i just bought a bunch of them they're not that expensive and uh but unfortunately because of the size and the width of this door it has to fit underneath the panel um underneath the door so you've got this whole lip to contend with back here so it's got to go all the way back there and then lock and that's what holds it in place but they're pretty easy to do you shouldn't be intimidated at all by changing the lock on your rv door they're very very simple to do it's really just uh this lower bolt that keeps the lock in place and then you've got the higher usually uh the uh, phillips screw that keeps the the key mechanism in place um, and then that's it that's that's all you got to do and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal this area with some caulk and then I'm going to redo the insulation on here so this is the insulation that I'm using it's um, really poly foam board um, it gives you the actual specs 
right on the board. I know you guys can't really see that very well, um, but it gives you the R value. But here's the thing as far as this, this is three fourths. Um, and if you leave a spacer, you can get almost a six R value on here, which isn't a lot, but it's not bad for a 40 year old uh, Airstream. So I cut a piece of the poly foam board. The reflectic side is on the other side. So when I flip the door back up, the reflectic side will be reflecting heat away from inside the RV. But I noticed that this old pink insulation, this fiber glass insulation, man, it, it's in great shape. I mean, it's in really good shape. It's not wet. It It's like someone put it in yesterday. It's hard to believe that this thing is over 40 years old, but I think I'm gonna reuse it and give it just that little extra oomph of insulation. So I used the old insulation and the polyfoam to boost its R value now. And uh, the lock works. I'm going to rivet back the door in and then coming very soon, we are doing all of the new rubber seal around the door, around all the doors, all the windows to give it a really nice seal. And that video is coming up also. So yeah, it looks pretty good. I like it. I got a comment the other day on our YouTube channel asking why it's taking us so long to renovate our Airstream. And all I can tell you is this, is that we live an hour away from where our Airstream is. So that's an hour there, hour back. And that's going through the middle of traffic in Atlanta. And if you've ever driven through Atlanta on any given day at any given hour, there's a lot of traffic there. So sometimes it takes me two hours to get home when it should only be a 45 minute drive. That's one of the reasons. The other reason is this, is that, you know, most of the renovation process has been part-time. Um, we had to gut the Airstream. We had to learn how to put it back together and everything has been a process to do. Um, they had mentioned another channel that um, they, they got it done in a year, but uh, I think the channel that they're talking about, that Airstream was completely gutted already. It didn't even have a floor in it. So they were that much farther along in the process. Um, so there's little tiny things um, with a vintage trailer, as far as buying parts for it, getting parts for it. Amazon is not the cure for all for parts for a vintage trailer some things work but some things are going to have to be special ordered i've actually had to order parts from airstream itself in ohio so but having said that we're about three weeks away from taking it on its maiden voyage and we've talked to the runaway roses if you have not checked out their channel please go and check out their channel they are really good people todd and Carla from the Runaway Roses have decided to go camping with us locally and to help us test out the Airstream and kind of work out the kinks and or bugs, if any. And so we're pretty excited about that. We think that's gonna be three weeks away from that. So please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you always get notified of our next video. I have a lot more how-to videos coming up coming up and you don't want to miss the reveal that's coming up very very shortly so anyway have a good week we'll talk to you guys later bye yeah another reason why things could take so long is i actually had to cut the chain that was linked through uh and uh of course now i've got a chain block carabiner on here that uh, will prevent it from coming off but uh, yeah I think when you have to use a bolt cutter I'll probably be sore for the next two days it took me 35 minutes to cut both of these off this loop so when you ask why it's taking so long <laughs> this could be the reason